Okay, now with the same piece of Chinese wonder, your know, bench press jack, whatever it is, get yourself to metal supermarkets and get yourself the nearest size of tube which will fit in here. So that's quite a tight fit. Or again, if you wanted to use a uh, socket head, that works well, and just use one of the plates from your press. Now, luckily enough, you can feel up the back of the drum, see my hand there, you can feel, well maybe you can't, you can't see, anyway, feel up the back of the drum and feel it inside and you'll be able to feel the bearing as it's coming down and you'll be able to feel that the notch has been filled. Also, as you're jacking it down, the movement will stop and the jack will probably get quite noisy as it's bottomed out. So basically pull out the tube and then you can get your circlet pliers and fit the new circlet down there. As you can see it's in place. Even though you needed several tons of pressure to put the um, bearing in, uh, fail safe is this beautiful little circlet there. So okay that's basically nearly ready to go back on the vehicle apart from you need the ABS rotor on here and that just press fits on and also what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to be a bit of a fashion victim and I'm going to paint the drums with some silver high temperature paint. What you've got to do next is get it on the stub axle and do the nut up to the required torque and that might involve uh, again your long arm extension and also possibly a friend to uh, assist. Anyway that will be the uh, last part of this um, little ditty, so thanks very much.